now we're going to look at this example. It's a two-part question. So they're talking about the reaction. Let me make this full screen here. They're talking about the reaction to form magnesium nitride. And to form that product, you're going to react magnesium metal with nitrogen gas. So the first part is asking how many grams of magnesium nitride can be made in the reaction of 35.00 grams of magnesium and 15.00 grams of nitrogen. So that's the first part of this question. The second part is asking how many grams of the excess reactant remain after the reaction. Okay, so I'm going to divide this into two videos. So the first video, which is now, um, I'm going to work on the A part and then the next video will be the B part because they're both kind of involved. So what I'm going to do is, um, firstly, of course, when it comes to, again, a typical stoichiometric type problem, limiting reactant problem, you need a balance equation, which they did not give you, but they gave you information, enough information for you to determine the balance equation. So um, let me get out of this here. Let me go to, in fact, let me come up with a new um, PowerPoint slide for me to write on. Okay, i make this full screen. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is write down a balance equation for the reaction. So the question tells us that magnesium nitride is formed from the reaction of magnesium metal and nitrogen. So what that means is that the reactants are magnesium, Mg, and nitrogen, which exists as a diatomic molecule, and the product is magnesium nitride. And the formula for magnesium nitride is Mg3N2, all right? So next step, of course, is to balance this equation. And in this case, all we need to do is put a three here to balance the equation, and that's it, all right? So the question is asking in the A part, how many grams of magnesium nitride can be made in the reaction of 35.00 grams of magnesium and 15.00 grams of nitrogen, all right? So what I would do in order to solve this problem is that I would, based on the given mass of magnesium, try to find the moles of the product, all right? And then do a similar calculation based on the given mass of nitrogen. So the first step is to convert from mass of magnesium to moles, which means that you need a molar mass of magnesium, which is 24 point, let me check and make sure this is correct, but I think it's 24 point um, 301, let me just um, check my table here. Um, hold on a minute. Where is my table? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay, so magnesium is 24.31. Okay, very good. So I'm going to put 24.31 here, grams of magnesium, all right? And then the next step would be the mole ratio between the mass or the moles of the product and the moles of magnesium. That's a 3 to 1 mole ratio. So I'm going to put 3 moles of magnesium down here and one mole of the product magnesium nitride above. So let me get my calculator. 35.00 divided by 24.31 divided by 3. So according to my calculations, this part works out to be equal to 0 0.4. Um, how many six six? Four six six. So this would be 0 0.4 seven nine nine moles of magnesium all right and then i'm going to do the same thing with the nitrogen so in the case of nitrogen firstly like we did above convert the grams to moles 
So in the case of nitrogen, that's 2 times 14.01, which is 28.02 grams of nitrogen in one mole. And then based on the equation, there's a one-to-one -one mole ratio between the nitrogen and the magnesium nitride. So that would be represented by this conversion factor where we have one mole of nitrogen below and one mole of Mg. 3 and 2. Um, give me a minute here. I need to plug in the laptop because it's losing energy right now. Okay, I'm back. Um, okay, so let's work this out. 15 divided by 28.02. According to my calculations, this works out to be equal to 0 0.5353 moles of Mg3 and 2. Okay, so at this juncture, what we need to do now is compare this to this and this is lower right so what that means therefore is that the magnesium in this particular situation is the limiting reactant which means that the nitrogen being the only other reactant will be the excess reactant all right so to answer the question now remember the question says um, how many grams of magnesium nitride can be made from this reaction? So basically, um, oh, by the way, this should be magnesium nitride. Okay, so basically we have to use this number here and convert it to grams, and that will give us the answer. So down here, I'm going to put 0.4799 moles of Mg3 and 2, and then I'm going to multiply that by... The molar mass, so you're going to have one mole of Mg3N2 down here, and up here you're going to have the molar mass, so um, for magnesium nitride, let me do a quick calculation of the molar mass, so let me see here, hold on one minute, okay, let's see. Okay, what's going on here? Let me. Try this again. Okay, so according to my calculation, this works out to be equal to 100.93. 100.93 grams of Mg3 and 2. And let's work that out, 0.4799 times 100.93. And according to my calculations, this works out to be equal to, round it off to four sig figs, 48.44 grams of Mg3 and 2. So that is the answer to the A part, all right? Okay, so as promised, I'm going to stop here. And um, I'm going to 